So this song uh, is originally a Herbie Hancock composition. Uh, it's called Tell Me a Bedtime Story. We are playing uh, the Robert Glasper rendition of the song. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, so this next song is called Retold, uh, and it's originally a composition by the drummer Nate Smith.
This song is a composition by the band R plus R equals now. Uh, it's called Change of Tone. Welcome to the IJ Lobby Lounge. I'm Paul Libertor, and I'm here tonight with an awesome jazz band, Space Goat, right? Yeah. From Rin Academy. Um, let's start off by uh, introducing uh, the, all the players tonight. We'll start down at that end. Um, hi, I'm Jacob. I'm 15. I'm a sophomore, and I play piano. I'm Sam. I'm 16. I'm a junior, and I play drums. 
I'm Carly, I'm 17, I'm a senior, and I play trumpet. <laughs> I'm Aiden, I'm 15, I am a sophomore, and I play guitar. I'm Asher, I'm 17, I'm a junior, and I play the alto saxophone. My name is Lane, uh, I'm 17, I'm a senior, and I play bass guitar. Great. So tell me a little bit about the song. You did a really, that was a really beautiful three song set. Mm -hmm. So tell me, tell me about the first one. What was that one? Yeah, so that, that first song is called Tell Me a Bedtime Story. Um, it's originally a Herbie Hancock composition. And, you know, obviously there's a very, a very important aspect of jazz is sort of taking ideas and elaborating on them and, and reinventing songs. And so one of the current uh, modern day players who is kind of um, very much uh, enjoying being in the middle of the scene right now is Robert Glasper. Uh, and he and his band, the Robert Glasper Experiment, uh, did a cover of that. And so we, you know, wanted to do their cover. And because it, it really took Herbie's work and elaborated on it nicely and put it in a great context for modern playing. Oh, so, and the second song, which is really a yeah. lovely piece, I, I was beautiful. Yeah, so the second song is by a, a modern drummer named Nate Smith, um, sort of a more recent player uh, to come up in the jazz scene. And that song is just, it's so beautiful and it's amazing. And it, what was interesting for us getting that together is that it's it's in um, not in four four it's in nine eight and so I was you know wondering. yeah and so exactly and so th starting to like kind of as a band wrap our heads around playing in a you know a time signature that none of us had very much experience in was sort of an interesting endeavor but I think um, you know it was a very beneficial experience for all of us to go through yeah. And the last one? Yeah, so the last one is called Change of Tone. And it's also, it's, this one is an original composition by Robert oh. Glasper. Um, okay. He, along with sort of some of the more, uh, or the more prevalent players in the jazz scene today, um, kind of formed a super group in the past year. And they released an album. Uh, and it's the first song from that album. It's called Change of Tone. And that one is a, is a really compelling song because it's, it's sort of very sparse in the recording. And so to kind of get, get that song and apply it to us and make it work in kind of a live dynamic setting um, was definitely an interesting experiment for us to work on. You know what amazes me about uh, doing this Lively Lounge shows is that I see so many bands from schools, and you're at the top of that list, mm -hmm. who, who do jazz so beautifully, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're in a scene where it's all pop and rock and hip hop and all of that, to, to explore jazz, you know, for, for musicians your age is, mm -hmm. is, is really a remarkable, extraordinary thing. And you kind of, you were telling me before, uh, you kind of brought this into Marin Academy, right? It wasn't, wasn't part of the program. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. And, and so when, it was sort of when I was coming into Marin Academy, jazz was kind of uh, fading away within the music department there. And so my, myself being a lover of jazz, I was obviously sort of upset about this and really wanted to get to play jazz within the department and, and work with a group uh, for the shows. And so uh, coming into the beginning of this year, I'd been talking with Chris Dietrich, um, the music department chair, about you know sort of getting jazz uh, back into the Marin Academy music department and sort of bringing it back and kind of reintroducing a lot of the younger students to jazz and sort of showing them that it can be exciting and you know be very you know interesting and fun to play and listen to, and so I've been talking with Chris about that you know during the summer and we had previously mentioned some players who are all here um, mm -hmm. who would be interested in doing it and who we think could really kind of uh, bring together a great group to rep to do that and represent for the school so. Uh, it, it was kind of a really great and fun experience for me kind of getting to, to be able to bring that back into the music department. You know. So did that all happen this year? I mean, how long have you guys been playing together? That was what I'm... Yeah, yeah. So, so it all came together this year. Um, the bands kind of change year by year, but um, I've played. I've been playing with Asher uh, since last year. Um, I've never played with the other people before this year. Um, but you know, having that experience with a sax player and you know just with another musician in your band is is it sort of helps you jumpstart and kind of get a, get ahead when you're forming a band together. And so, um, and then of course, you know, over time, I've gotten to, gotten to know these people so well and uh, kind of begin to understand them as players and as people. And we become, you know, I think we're good friends sort of <laughs> um, and you know so, so sort of getting to know them has, has kind of just added to the music and you know we've been playing together just this year but it feels like it's, it's been much longer and I think we've come together as a group very far no, I, I couldn't agree more. You had a def definite chemistry, and tonight, you know, uh, all of you out there may not know this, but it's been a rainy night in Marin County, so mm -hmm. this kind of was the perfect kind of music for it. We were digging it in the control room. and So thank you very much, Space Goat Marin Academy, yeah. for, for coming and gracing the Lobby Lounge. And we'll look forward to seeing you on April 28th. It's a Sunday night at the Marin Showcase Theater at Marin Center. Space Goat and a lot of the other bands and groups and singers from the Lobby Lounge video series so Thank thanks again so guys yeah. thank you we'll Until see you next there. time yeah bye